टुडे वील बी स्टडी अबउट दि लंग्स टुडे वील स्टडी हौ टू की दि लंग्स इन अनाटमिकल पोजिशन सो फस्ट आफ आल नोयिंग हौ टू की द लंग्स इन अनाटमिकल पोजिशन यू आर सपोज टू नो सो द लंग इज हैविंग एंड अपेक्स सो दिस इज दि अपेक्स ऑफ दि लंग सो दिस अपेक्स ऑफ दि लंग शुड बी अपवर्ड्स सो अपेक्स शुड बी अपवर्ड्स देन वॉट यू आर हैविंग हियर बिलो सो दिस इज दि बेस ऑफ दि लंग so the base of the lung will be below so this uh, base usually will lie over the diaphragm so the base of the lung will be below then you are supposed to know the borders of the lung usually the lung is made up of three borders so first is you will get one anterior border so this is the anterior border so now what the lung which i am holding in hand so this is actually the left lung i will show you how to differentiate between left and right lung so now this is the anterior border so this anterior border of the lung is very thin sharp and usually it is vertical whereas if you see the posterior border of the lung so this is the posterior border of the lung so the posterior border is round comparing the anterior border which is very thin which is vertical the the posterior border is round then also you are having one inferior border so what you are seeing here so this is the inferior border of the lung so this inferior border of the lung will separate the lung from different surfaces like you are having two surfaces so one is the costal surface so this is called the costal surface which is convex outwards so here it is related to the vertebra intercostal spaces so so the ribs ribs intercostal spaces whereas this is the medial surface of the lung so usually the medial surface of the lung is flat now coming to know so if you see this anterior border if you see this compare the left and the right lung if you see this anterior border of the left lung you can see there is one notch you can see here there is a curved area over here so this is called the cardiac notch so after the cardiac notch there is one extension projection over here so this is called the lingula so this projection is called the lingula this is the cardiac notch which is present in the left lung whereas if you see this right lung what you can see so this is the anterior border of the right lung you can see there is no cardiac notch or there is no lingula so this notch is because of the most of the cardiac area that is the heart is present towards the left side that's why you are having this cardiac notch then coming to the lobes so if you see this left lung so you are having it is there's one long fissure over here so this fissure is called the oblique fissure so this oblique fissure will divide the left lung into two lobes so one is the superior lobe another is the inferior lobe whereas if you see the right lung there is two fissures so one what you can see here so this is the horizontal fissure whereas this is the oblique fissure so this horizontal fissure and the oblique fissure is dividing the right lung into three lobes so one is the superior lobe another is the middle lobe another is the inferior lobe then also like coming to the impression which is present in the medial surface of the lung so this is a medial surface of the lung so this area what you are having over here so this is called the hilum of the lung hilum or the root of the lung so the area what you are having here so this is called the hilum or the root of the lung so this is the area where the structures will enter or leave the lung then the impressions what you are having here so the main important impression what you see in this left lung so this is the impression for the arch of aorta so this is the impression for arch of aorta then you are having this is the impression for the descending aorta then here you will have the impression for the esophagus same way you will have here the impression for the trachea this entire thing is the cardiac impression so you can see towards this uh, towards this lingula and the cardiac notch so this large impression is the cardiac impression so this is the structures present in the hilum so usually for this left lung from anterior to posterior if you see the structures present in this hilum so first will be the vein so you are having the pulmonary vein then the artery then the bronchus so this can be like the superior pulmonary vein this can be the inferior pulmonary vein but we consider the structures which is present first so first is the pulmonary 
vein so this will be the pulmonary vein then the artery then the bronchus so how to know which is the bronchus is when you palpate the lung if you see you will see because of the presence of hyaline cartilage in this bronchus so it will be very hard so rest of the structures you can see here so th those all will be the lymph nodes lymph nodes which is present so from anterior to posterior will be the vein artery then the bronchus and this was the impression for arch of aorta this is the descending aorta then here impression for esophagus so here impression for the trachea then what you are having here so this is called the pulmonary ligament so from the hilum you can see this extension so this is the this is called the pulmonary ligament so same way when you see this uh, right lung so this right lung already we saw the fissures a horizontal fissure oblique fissure dividing it into superior middle and inferior uh, lobes then coming to the medial surface of this right lung so here what you can see is so this impression what you are having here this is groove for the azygous vein so there is a groove for the azygous vein which continues like this then here you are having impression for the esophagus so this is same way similar to left lung so here you are having the cardiac impression here groove for this trachea so in this region you will have the superior vena cava impression also then you are coming to these structures also what you are seeing here whereas in right lung you will have two bronchus so in the upper aspect you are having epiarterial bronchus lower aspect you are having hyperarterial bronchus so epiarterial bronchus hyperarterial bronchus rest of the structures will be same like the vein pulmonary vein pulmonary artery then this bronchus whereas in left lung instead of epiarterial and hyperarterial bronchus you had the principal bronchus so this can also be one more pulmonary vein there can be many pulmonary veins so if you see this weight of the lung also if you see this uh, right lung usually this right lung is larger because it is having like three lobes it can be around 700 grams in weight whereas the left lung usually will be around 600 to 650 grams in weight so the borders once again i will tell you so the borders are this is the anterior border which is flat which is vertical whereas round posterior border and below what you are having is the inferior border so this inferior so this is the diaphragmatic surface so this diaphragmatic surface you can see it is concave in shape the concavity in this diaphragmatic surface is because it is lying over the dome of the diaphragm so below the diaphragm in right side if you see there is right, right uh, portion of the liver so because of that dome shape so here there is concavity in this uh, inferior surface uh, inferior portion of the lung